Hello guys, welcome to my Photoshop Masterclass tutorial in 2023. So as you can see, after launching the software, this is the interface right here. See, so this is the home interface, which comes with home itself, the learning aspects, which comes with tutorials that you need to watch in Photoshop. After that, if you link your Lightroom to your Photoshop, this option will appear here for you so let's go back to the home with the home we have lists and we have grid or views if you want to hide the welcome tutorial you can click hide suggestion or show suggestion to bring it back okay so after that this is your cloud storage after the cloud storage we have search so you can search anything here right now um if you have internet access business is we have new files and open when you click on the new file you see recent saved photo print artboard and illustration web mobile theme and video presets so here are presets that we uses in photoshop they are all blank presets and the ones you saw under the photos they are the templates they are the ones that people designs and they are free if you log into your photoshop you can download this template and use them so these are some of the presets that is under photos right here so assuming that i'm taking this small landscape which is three by two the format is set to inches you can see that the orientation is moved from portraits to landscape and we have artboard right here okay so the weight is set to three the height is set to two the resolution is set to 300 so most of the time the highest resolution that i set is 300 after 300 i set 150 after 150 the least amount is 72 after that i change i maintain the color mode to rgb color mode after that i change the 8 bits Sometimes I change the 8 bit to 16 bit, the 16 bits to 8 bit. It depends on what you are doing. And when you click on this format to we have pixels slash or per inches, we have pixels per centimeters. It depends on what you are doing. You can choose one and you are good to go. And when it comes to the background contents, we have white background, we have black background, we have background color, we have transparent. When you click on it you can see that there's nothing here when you click on custom you can customize your background color and guys you are good to go so assuming i pick this sea or navy blue um so it's right here okay let's look at the advanced option with a color profile most of the time photoshop uses this but if you want to change your color profile to any of these color profiles right here you are good to go most of the time i don't normally change mine okay so after that we have pixel aspect ratio the with the pixel aspect ratio it comes with all these ones right over here most of the time i use the square pixels to do my designs okay so that is it for the new file under the new file which is the document and the preset so let's create our first document so this is what we have in photoshop okay let's close it okay so let's go back to the open so when you click on the open it will open your gallery for you where your images your videos are so that you can import them into photoshop so assuming i want to import this picture into photoshop when i click on the picture to select it i'll click on open and guys i'm good to go okay so now we have our picture in photoshop and this is the essential interface or the workspace in photoshop okay guys so we have file we have edits we have image we have layer we have type we have select we have filter 3d view plugins window and um, help okay so these are the tabs 
in Photoshop. Okay, so if you want to navigate your workspace, you click on this, choose a workspace. When you click on this, it will open your workspace for you. These are my custom workspace that I created for YouTube Shorts and my normal video edit or my normal graphics editing. Okay, so these ones are the Photoshop default workspaces that they have in the software. Okay, so these are the essential ones. When you click on 3D, it will pop up 3D user interface for you. So all these are 3D user interface right over here. After that, let me pull this. I can see some timeline here. Okay, when you click on the timeline, you see something like a video in the 3D layer option. Okay, so when you go back and click on the workspace, change it to graphic and web. Okay, so with the graphic and web, this is what you see. You have a character, paragraph, and graphs. Okay. After that, you see some of the events that takes place in the graphics and webs. Okay, so let's change the interface to motion. Under motion, we usually use this for animation, like animation styles. Mostly, you can import videos or you can import files from illustrations and bring them into Photoshop to animate them into video form. Uh, imagine you have a sales banner or sales card and you want to animate them, animate the design that you, you created in Photoshop. You can bring them under the motion and edit them into a motion design template or video and export it and send it to your client. So you can use the motion to do that work too. So as you can see, I'll do tutorials on the workspaces. So right now we are just looking at the interface of Photoshop and how to navigate it. Okay, so after the motion, we have painting. So painting, most of the time, this is what the artists use in Photoshop to paint some of their characters, environments, um, landscape, environment, cities, and whatever, whatever that they create. So that too is the interface right over here. Okay. After that, we have photography. So this is what most of the photo graphics that is what they use for skin and face retouching in photography under photoshop so this is the interface that they use right here okay so i think that is it for the tabs so let's go back to the essentials and let me explain something right here so as you can see the other columns comes with reset essential new workspace delete workspace okay so i'm coming to mess things up right here and reset it so that you see the difference that i was talking about so let me pull this properties tab here let me pull the adjustment tab here let me pull the library tab here and let me open this pull the channel tab somewhere down here and click on this layer bring my swatches to the to this particular place um, miss the pattern into this area so the way you see the way i'm messing up my user interface you can't see anything okay after that i'll bring my gradients like this okay so i've messed up my user interface in photoshop and as a complete beginner if i want to reset it back which is the default essentials what i have to do is to either go to windows select workspace and go to reset essentials or click on this workspace icon here and go to reset essentials so let's pick this and boom 
we have our reset essentials so the what we just messed up everything is fixed back you don't need to complain you don't need to call an it guy to do it for you photoshop have its own places you have to go to the rightful place and click on it and it will do all the commands for you so that is it okay after that let's look at some tools and properties in photoshop so as you can see this is the toolbar section this is also a toolbar section if you go to if you go to windows and click on brushes you see the brush tool right over here when you, the same thing when you click on characters you see the characters to right over here so this place i use for customizing a workspace in photoshop okay so after that you can see that we have color we have swatches we have gradients we have patterns and the most interesting thing is that with the patterns you can search for the patterns you can also search for a gradient and you can also search for a swatches okay so this is the property sections which comes with transform under the transform you see width and height x and y pixels we see mirror mirroring and, and the rest after that we have align and distribute we have quick actions so if i want to take off the background of this image what i have to do is to click on the remove background and photoshop will automatically remove the background of that particular image so this is just a tip that i showed you right press ctrl z to do undo it okay so after that what i have to do next is to go to the adjustment panel so with adjustments we have brightness and contrast levels curves so this is the brightness and contrast this is the levels this is the curves this is the exposure this is the vibrance we have hue and saturation we have color balance we have black and whites we have photo filter we have channel mixer we also have color lookup we also have invert we also have posterize we also have um, threshold under the adjustment we also have selective color after the selective color the last thing that we have is the gradient map okay you see that all the effects or the adjustment opened in the property tab section okay so after that we have libraries and we are good to go so if you want to close anything in photoshop just click on this line bars and close it click on this line bars and close the adjustment panel after that let me pull this and open my layers so these are the layers we have in photoshop and these are channels that we use in photoshop and these are parts that we use in photoshop so currently under the part we don't have anything under it so these are a few tools that we use in photoshop which comes with the filter for pixel layers filter for adjustment layers filter for type layers 
filter for sheep layers okay so as you can see i tried to delete this so if you want to delete this place your case on that particular thing and click on the that's been okay so after that we have filter for smart objects and we have turn on or off filtering so after that we have we have our two legends which is opacity and fill when you decrease the opacity this is what we get when you increase it it will come in a full format when you decrease the fill this is what we get when you increase it it will come in a full format okay so after that we have fx which comes with blending options bevel and emboss stroke inner shadow inner glow stain color overlay gradient pattern out glow drop shadow and we have a vector max or a layer max we have adjustment panel or adjustment layer we have the new group we have add layer and we have the delete layer okay so these are the things that we have in photoshop so as you can see i'm trying to customize my user interface okay. so we have more tools in photoshop when you come to windows you see that most of the tools are here okay so let's go to view and uh, import or bring some rulers okay so when you go to click on view and click on less you see this will appear in your photoshop okay so you can pull ruler like this by pressing on the ruler and we have something like this so in me imagine you're working with this image and you mistakenly pull out the ad but don't worry because you can easily fix it back when you click on it as you can see that it's full okay so you can pull it back to fit the workspace and guys you are good to go okay so let's pull one of the ruler down and we have our two rulers right over here okay it's because of the margin on the workflow that we do that is why they brought this ruler so that we will come won't unlike things anyhow in photoshop okay so that is it so with the tools we have the move to the marquee tools we have the lasso tools we have the quick selection tools we have the crop tool we have the frame tool we have the eyedropper tool we have the spot healing brush tool we have brush to we have clone stamp we have gradient we have history brush we have blur brush we have dodge two we have pen two type two path selection to shape to hand to we have zoom to and we have when you left click on these three dots is open all the tools for you that we have in photoshop so that you can pick one of them save it and click on done and you are good to go okay guys so that is it for today's tutorial in photoshop masterclass 2023 okay thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe i'll bring the part two of this tutorial very soon.